Hi there. When you hop on, let me know you're here. I'm gonna show y'all my new colors. I'm so excited. When you hop on, let me know you're here. Hi, Cindy. Jen's final. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Maria. Hi, April. Erin. I'm so excited to show y'all stuff. Hi, Veronica. Marcy. <laughs> Congratulations, you caught it. Just kidding. <laughs> Emily, Heather, Leanne. Leanne, I feel like I've done a lot of lives lately. It's so crazy. Hi, Casey, Cynthia. Neka, if you'll tell me your real name, I'll try and remember to call you by your real name. Hi, Shanna. I appreciate that sweet comment. And hi, Erica. So I'm going to show you all a few things. So, Linda, we are going to look at, I've got 11 new glitters. Ooh, like I needed more glitters. And then this will be April's Fire Swirl Tumbler. I just want to show you all a few things. So I know we've done a bunch of these um, molds lately. We did one of these the other day. But I actually did this one with uh, the color change glitter. So it's going to look all boring and kind of cute. <laughs> Leanne, I hear you. I have five cups in the works right now. And that was not, um, not something planned. It just kind of snuck up. Oh man, I shouldn't have taken that out till I filled it. Jen, she said that um, she's got more of these on the way, but I wanna show y'all really quickly because I have my UV light set up. Let me activate it really quickly. I used pink and purple of the UV resin, I mean UV glitter. Well, it's not all that amazing. <laughs> it's pretty cute. It's a little thinner than I intended it to be, but that's okay pretty fun but that was not the point of the video I just wanted to show you all that hi Diane all right so this weekend I had to go I didn't have to go I went with my mom to take my grandmother to my uncle's in East Texas which happens to be 30 minutes from my drug dealer slash glitter supplier <laughs> so I had to go it was just too perfect of an opportunity so I stopped and grabbed a few colors in person some of these you just don't get the full appreciation yes marcy i went to friends oh my gosh i didn't realize how many colors i had till i typed them all out um but some of these colors you can't hi joyce you can't really get the full appreciation of them in pictures like this willy wonka is kind of like the plum version of cora or merida in my opinion this is what it looks like I know, Casey. I only live like three hours from her, but I never go to East Texas for anything. So when my mom needed to uh, go, she's in Marshall. When my mom needed to go, thank you, Linda. Uh, I was like, oh, can we like make a little detour? It's only 30 minutes out of the way. So that's what we did. <laughs> I was so great. Um, so Willy Wonka, she did say that this Willy Wonka is slightly different than um, the previous version. I saw a, people, a couple of people comment on that. I didn't have the previous version, but they both looked really pretty. Um, these are the tiniest bags, and I am... You know what, Jen? I actually put that in the description that that is in the works. <laughs> That's really funny that you mentioned that. But, uh, yeah, I love that. Yeah, April, she's in Marshall. She does local pickups. So the next one, this is one of her newer custom mixes. I think this is a custom, it may not be. This is another one of those. Don't let that bottle fool you. It's a lot of teal and silver. But here it is under epoxy right here. I didn't stir it very good. Yeah, Casey, I think that's pretty close. Isn't that pretty? It's almost like an iridescent or holographic um, aqua teal. <laughs> But that's one of them. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna take too, too long uh, on here. I know that y'all wanna see the swirl. 
Oh my gosh, Veronica. Yeah, I spent like 80 bucks. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Joyce. It's pretty darn close. I may have to take that one in. Okay, so next one. This is another one of her new ones. That's another one that the website doesn't really do justice. I kid you not, it feels like this one has like a day glow effect. <laughs> Look how much glitter is on my hand. That's really funny. Hi, Chris. So that, but this is what really gets me. Look how vibrant that is. It's almost like it glows in the bright, in the light. Mm, love it. Yeah, I totally forgot to get more UV. I'm pretty sure I'm running low. Uh, Linda, I feel ya. I love it so much. So this one is called Poseidon's Adventure. Ad <laughs> I promise, I haven't been drinking. Poseidon's Adventure. Um, Regina, I actually have a video. I just pour the UV in here. And then I, I do them all a little bit different. But it's pretty much I pour it in here. I sprinkle it in there. I let it kind of settle. And then I throw it under the UV light. I used to do it with the other epoxy, which you can. This just makes it where I can show y'all right away. So this one is called Homecoming Night. Okay, so I've had this in my cart off and on for like a year. It has Texas in it. Uh, Christy, Christy, the UPS guy walked in the office today. I was like, um, I'll take that. It was supposed to be here yesterday. You're playing with my heart here. I <laughs> thought I was crazy. He laughed, but I bribed him with candy, so it's no uh, no hard feelings. This has Texas in it. It is so cute. So cute. If you needed that color combo, you could pick the Texas out. They're not overwhelmingly intense, but I had no idea that those were in there. I didn't pay close enough attention. This is another one that I've kind of had off and on in my cart. This is a darker red than No Place Like Home. So No Place Like Home is pretty much Cupid Shuffle. I just happen to have this here. It's a brighter red. This is more like Santa's coat, but oh baby, look at that under epoxy. Ignore the air bubble that is in there. It popped. So pretty. Hi, Kristen. Yeah, I see people use Deadpool Joyce. And I'm like, yeah, that's a good looking color. But I've just never pulled the trigger and done it. So this one is Frozen. It's another one I've had kind of off and on on my wish list. It's a, a bigger cut. I'm going to focus right there. It's a little bit bigger cut. It's not crazy. But man, it is so pretty. That's the better side. It's really pretty. That one's pretty true to the color there. Okay, I'm going to save this one for last, actually, because it's so pretty. This is another one that she mixed up. It's, um, she's had this one a couple months. I just never did get it. Merica. If you have Merica Chunky, it's all red, white, and blue, or pretty much. So, Casey, she's actually waiting for a lot of water slides to come in. They're stuck in Shreveport or something. I saw it on her, either on a live she did or um, a post. I I'm not sure which. I know she's got a whole bunch of them just sitting at the post office, and there's not anything she can do to get them there sooner. But this one is America. It's a .15 cut. It's a little bit bigger. It's super cute. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Move you out of the way. This one, it kind of reminds me of Flirty Flamingo, but it's not quite the same. But Marie, it's a fine, but it has the clear holographic hex cut in there. It's so bright. It's not as bright as Fetch, though. Fetch, to me, has almost a day glow vibe to it. I don't have a ton, ton of pinks, so I was trying to expand a little bit. Okay, yeah, I have two of my favorites. I'm going to show y'all last. So, I just got Texas Sunrise Fine recently, and then they just released this one. 
It's a great yellow. It's very sunflower vibes. I love it. Yeah, Veronica, that pink is, man, it is beautiful. I want to just go ahead and show some appreciation for Heavenly again. Oh my gosh, I made some earrings out of this smaller mold. I don't know if any of y'all remember the last one I was, the last live when I was using the mold. And I was like, yeah, they, it's big, but it fits. No, it doesn't fit because I used the wrong size mold. I look like a fool with the earrings. I had to take them out as soon as I saw myself. But that's heavenly. I got that one last time. It happened to be sitting here. Okay, so down to my two favorites that I just got. This one is definitely not one that has justice on the website. Oh my gosh. Oh, Erica, you will not be disappointed. I got rose gold hardware from Hobby Lobby. And oh my gosh, it looks so pretty with it. I'm actually meant to bring them out here. But I totally forgot. I took my earrings off when I changed out of my scrubs. Uh, so Nanny's Baby, it's kind of like a periwinkle holographic. It is so pretty. I think that this is one. It's not as, it's more purple than Landon, Marcy. Ren, I would love to know what your, uh, what your colors were. Because I'm always curious to see what people picked for their first round. Um, so this is purple compared to Landon, not, um, but I know exactly what you're talking about because Landon is very similar. Where Landon's a light blue holographic, this is definitely more of a periwinkle. And I actually have these, I made everybody a letter for their computer desk. Hi, Netta. Um, I'm lame, so I made everybody this to uh, put on their computer desk. All right, last one. So this is another one. Hi, Annette. Um, Colors of the Wind. This is very, very similar. Not the same, but similar to the Rainbow Bright color that I got at uh, Love All Bling. Oh, that's okay. You actually haven't missed it very much. I just showed the colors that I got in. Uh, you can catch those on the replay. I might recap those at the very end, but I'm not going to make everybody wait because um, I know that there's several people waiting for that fire swirl. So this is Colors of the Wind. I'm almost certain that this is Rainbow Bright. So you can kind of see the similarity. Let's do this one. As uh, Stephanie, I'm just showing the colors. I'll recap them at the end. So this is Rainbow Bright, I'm almost certain, and then compared to Colors of the Wind. The one of these that I made, I um, already took to work today. So that is it for the glitters. I'm so excited. I did get a bunch of micas, but I won't bore y'all with those. I'm also really excited about these. She might still have some of these on her site. And then I also grabbed this guy. This is one of those wine bottle things once it's in there the wine bottle comes through here and then you hook the wine glasses through there through those holes right there pretty excited that's definitely one of those that you want to use a uh, um, nice rigid epoxy otherwise it can really mess things up <laughs> yeah Marcy if you're local you sure can I grabbed these I'm curious if it's going to help me to do for when I'm pouring into my um, measuring cups. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. They were pretty cheap. And then I got a bunch of mica powders. So I'm pretty excited about those. Wine Butler. That sounds very appropriate, Erica. That sounds like a very appropriate name for that. So let me move these glitters over really quickly and mix up that um, epoxy. If y'all have not been to Hobby Lobby lately, they have 90% off of some stuff. And I got this adorable little pail. For like, good grief, I'm so sorry. I'm sure that was loud. I did not mean to drop that. I got this cute little pail for like 79 cents for this very thing right here, just to get stuff up and out of the way. 
That way y'all don't have to wait for me to do it. The neat way. Yeah, I did, Cindy. I got it from Franz, and I'll actually show you the easy way so that I don't make a huge mess. Because I bought a few extras. Um, I had bought a, like a glow powder from someone. So it has the cutest little scooper. Cosmic comes in this also. All of her micas and Cosmic. This is pretty full. It's up to here. So you just... Boop, right in there. You just dump in whatever you need. Alright, so let me mix up some epoxy. And then we'll get started. So for this, I'm going to do Aubrey Reese. Brown cadmium yellow, which won't be super duper vibrant on here. Orange and cadmium red. Netta, I haven't done anything with the glow powders that I bought. I got one from, I think, Yaya's slash Sassin Crafts. It's the same thing. And then um, I got the pink to purple from Franz. Yeah, Kristen, I did about that. My sister is a uh, avid wine drinker, so that's definitely going to be something for their Christmas. Let me just mix up some epoxy. I've got a 30 ounce here. Sometimes I'll mix up 30 ounces. I'm going to do my best to not have glitter in this cup. I successfully made and about to deliver a non-glitter cup that doesn't have glitter on it. Shocking. Pretty excited. Ooh, blue to purple. That's cool. Yeah, Emily, I inspected that thing and even my coworkers were like, we don't see any glitter. I'm like, that's impressive. I didn't take any pictures of that one because um, it is full of brand logos. And it's something that he's not even really supposed to be taking into the uh, meetings. He can represent except for when he's at the meetings. And most of my cups come from the Stainless Steel Depot company. Make sure you go to the wholesale site and not the retail site because the difference is pretty, uh, pretty big. You don't want to pay retail if you are decorating them. You won't make, you won't have any profit margin at all. So sometimes my cups will come from Bucky's. If I'm in an emergency pinch, I live not 10 minutes from a Bucky's, and I'll take any excuse possible to go get an unsweet tea. I could live on their unsweet tea. It's so good. Cynthia, I think that is definitely a real common thing. <laughs> Eric, I've seen so many people post in the groups. Is this really what y'all pay? And everybody's like, no, no, go to the other one. So I'm mixing up 30 ounces, but we are not using the full 30. I'd rather have more than I need and not, um, not uh, have to hurry up and mix up more. Well, Tumblr, I'll have to look that up. I rent, I get my cups, Fran actually has some, but I haven't ordered from her on those. I, hi Bailey. I um, get my cups from, mostly from the stainless steel depot company.com. This is a hog brand. I've actually had customers ask for hog brand by name, which is pretty good considering it's not a name brand. For someone to ask for it, that's a pretty good accomplishment on their part. I'm almost done mixing this up. I know y'all are having a wonderful time watching that. I'm not too far. Hey, Austin. So, I told y'all about my rooster crowing for the first time. 
I kid you not, he sounds like a broken kazoo. And I was out there one morning a little earlier than usual and my daughter came outside. I was like, ooh, listen, listen, he's about to crow. I thought she was gonna fall off of her swing. She was laughing so hard. He's definitely defective. <laughs> I had to rehome him though. We can't have any roosters. I have a handicapped chicken and um, he tried to get a little too personal with her yesterday, so I had to rehome him. Hi, hi, Mandy. I'm assuming you're Mandy and not your first name's not simple. <laughs> All right, we are almost mixed up. Give me about 10 more seconds. Oh my gosh, and I have two Polish chickens in the house right now. They're not old enough to go outside just yet. <laughs> they kept on the turn or goes around. You are right. I'm gonna sing that probably every time now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, y'all. Okay, so Ren, she happens to be watching right now. Hi, Mary. Um, in the group, if you're not a member of the group, go ahead and go request to join if you're interested. Uh, it's called Newbie Tumblr Tutorials and Support. Somebody commented that they were having some trouble with their vinyl lifting. And Ren, being the genius that she obviously is, I've seen some of her ink works and they're beautiful. Uh, Netta, you will not be disappointed. I am so excited. And what I'm about to tell y'all that I learned from Rin this morning will change your t your time, like your beginning to end time. Somebody was commenting that they were having trouble with their vinyl lifting on their cup. And several of us were like, yeah, sand it and then do this and then do this and blah, blah, blah. And she said, it won't help now, but I do UV resin over the decal and then epoxy over that. Because once you've sealed it under that UV resin, it's not going to lift. Genius. Just get your little light handy, get your, um, your decal laid where you need it. Get your light handy and just zap it. And then like within seconds, you can epoxy like usual. Uh, Jen, UV resin is a resin that cures with a, like a nail tech light. I just dripped epoxy somewhere. I hope it wasn't on one of these letters I just made for my coworkers. Yep, it sure was. I'm... Um, Anyways, this UV resin, it cures with a UV light rather than time curing. You cannot use it as a top coat, but that's how you do the scale look. Oh, uh, Erica, Ren mentioned this morning in the group that uh, she does UV resin over her decals and then epoxies like usual then you don't have to worry about it lifting. Genius. It's gonna be a game changer because that is definitely the thing that puts everything on hold. All right, so what I like to do, which most of y'all already know this, I like to do a thin layer so I can make sure, uh, Crystal, if you do it thin enough, you do not have to do that. And Erica, I've done Mod Podge, but I've definitely had a milky outline. And so I'm I'm a little gun shy on doing Mod Podge like that. I have done clear coat, like spray paint clear coat. Uh, Cindy, you do not use UV resin. It comes in a black bottle. And it, um, it won't cure unless it gets UV exposure whether that's outside or with a light. And it really tends to work best if you have a clear mold. So like the coin capsules are ideal for that. You know, Erica, it could very well be that I just badly screwed it up. Hi, Lisa. 
I actually just started this part, but you missed all the glitter, but I'll do all that again at the end. Let me do this first and then we'll do that. I'm not using the fast set epoxy right now because I don't want it to set fast. I need it to spin and move and swirl. I don't know what this is. Oh, there was the first gnat. There better not be any more of these. All right. So now that I have a nice thin coat, I don't have any dry spots. That's what I'm most concerned with is dry spots. Yeah, that very well could have been my problem, Erica, is that I didn't let it seal enough. I'm not real sure, to be honest. It was pretty early on in my epoxy game. It was a gift for my mother-in-law. She came and stayed with our kids while my husband and I went on a cruise last year. And um, she loves Crown Royal, so I special ordered a label from them, which is so cool. If you didn't know you could do that, you can. Some people like to print it water slide. Uh, Stephanie, I can post a link. It's KS Resin. I think it's ksresin.com. And I have a 5% off coupon code if you'll use TPS, like the purple stitch, but just the letters because the purple stitch is way too long to have to type that in. Um, it gets you 5% off. And they do free shipping. And the fast set does have a shipping delay right now, but I got mine in about half the time of what they said they were going to be shipping it. So that's pretty good. They might be catching up right now. But man, I finished a cup for my grandma like in four days with me working full time. I could have done it in one day, but I wasn't able to because I got a jobby job and it gets in the way sometimes. I'm just kidding. Some of my coworkers watch these videos for entertainment purposes. I love you, Sarah. Um, so... I could have done that that fast, but I couldn't because I couldn't, I didn't have the time. Jobs, ugh, I'm kidding. I love my job. I've been at it for, at this one for 10 years. I've been doing what I do, 16 I think. For those that don't know, I'm an optician. I do the glasses. All right, so April, I'm sure you've been waiting for me to get after it. So here we go. So I'm not gonna do a ton of brown at the start because I don't want it over, taking over unless April wants it darker. I'm, I'm gonna mostly do orange and yellow. Oh, no, it doesn't matter, Cynthia. It doesn't matter at all. I'm just trying to get it kind of level. You can kind of see where it's evening out now as it's turning. So I wanna do mostly, golly, that was almost glued shut. Mostly red, orange, and yellow for starters. It's easy to add more brown, but you cannot take it away. And as you're doing this, make sure not to neglect the bottom so that it gets a good swirl also. And if you don't already have it, put something underneath. You can see how some of those are just dripping right off of there. Have something underneath where you're working. Hi, Crystal. So, um, the, hi, other Crystal. <laughs> There's two Crystal comments back to back. That's really funny. Um, this is a turner that I made. It's amazing that it's lasted this long. I probably just jinxed it, but I made this turner coming up on two years ago, and it has been a workhorse. And it's just a motor, uh, psh, not motorcycle, good grief, microwave motor. Okay, so that's all the red I'm going to do. Uh, microwave motor and a couple other things, PVC. It's not pretty at all. It's ugly and it's way too big. But I've got, I think I have everything I need. I'm pretty sure I have everything I need to do a tutorial. Yes, Jen, the motor does get hot. Every turner I have definitely gets a little toasty, Murgy. Um, but that's okay. It's normal. Every motor gets hot. Just make sure nothing's up against it. And put a timer. Putting timers on my stuff was one of the best decisions I ever did. 
Yeah, Ellen, I plan on doing that uh, Turner tutorial for sure. Because I've enjoyed this one. I think I did a pretty decent job. I only had to enlist the husband, like, for two little things that I just couldn't wrap my head around. And, you know, once he showed me what I was doing wrong, I was like, oh, that was dumb. <laughs> I should have figured that out. All right. That's it for the orange for the moment. Let's do a little yellow. I'm not going to go crazy on the yellow. This is on a cream base because I didn't want any white spots. Hi, Nels. I didn't want any white spots, so I did cream for the base or off-white. I think it's called heritage white, technically. Um, I keep shaking this thing because I, I can whack my elbow like a genius. So the yellow is kind of going to going to kind of get overrun so i don't mind putting more on it than i need because it golly these drops just go right off it's weird cynthia i followed a pretty decent tutorial it was a guy that just walked through it and i, I think i combined his tutorial and somebody else's and then just had to southern engineer the rest Um, you can do a rotisserie motor too. I feel like that's kind of expensive though when the microwave motor does just the same thing. I use a rotisserie motor for my um, multi-turner, which is dead right now. The arms got a little too out of whack. Wow, 20 bucks. I paid $50 for my rotisserie motor from Home Depot. Lame. Ooh, yeah. So, Paul, I almost had um, smart plugs installed. But the guy that I hired to put my electrical out here, he just kind of does it as a side gig. And he failed to do that. But I didn't give him a hard time about it because I don't feel like he charged me enough to do the 9 or 11 plugs. I can't remember how many plugs we did. April? Um, April. God, my lips stuck together. I've not been able to talk all day. April, would you like more brown on here or do you want to see where this goes first? I feel like I could use more brown right there at the top. I'm going to go ahead and do it right there while I'm waiting for her to tell me if she wants more. A little bit more brown. Yep. For sure it needed it there. I feel like it could use it there too, but let's see. Alright, so I am going to put my mask on. It's a filtered mask. And then I'm going to plug in my heat gun. We're going to give it some movement. I'll try to enunciate because this makes me sound like the Vader. And then um, we're going to take it off the turner in just a second. Okay, April, I will definitely, I'll try and watch for your comment. So if I don't see it, I'm going to ask you again if you want to add more. Actually, before I get started, I need to take a drink of water real quick. I'll be right back. So that cigar tumbler that I did, um, my husband finally called dibs on it yesterday. I don't know what took him so long, but it definitely took him a long time. Really quickly, I'm going to pour, instead of wasting this um, epoxy, I've got 10 milliliters of epoxy left. While that's kind of settling and spreading, I'm going to go ahead and pour a letter just so I don't waste it. Just take a second before it sets up too much and is not salvageable. So 
Cynthia, I bet there is somebody on here that does tumblers full time. Some people have got it going on. I'm not that person. I don't advertise. I don't do a lot of craft shows or anything, but man, some people, they just rock and roll. <laughs> so I made a letter, like I mentioned earlier, for everybody's computer at work. And for one of the coworkers, I actually used a glitter that happens to have the same name as her, but also is one of her favorite colors. And she said, really, do I need an L? I was like, um, I guess not. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. It put me in a funk for hours. It hurt my feelings. She doesn't know it hurt my feelings, but it totally did. Uh, this is Dawson. Hold on, I'll show you a better picture. All right, Crystal, this is Dawson right here. It's so cute. It has tiny little stars in it. It's a lot, it's a, like a dusty rose almost. All right, so I'm going to leave that off to the side doing its thing over there. So now we are going to hit this with some heat. So I'm not going to talk while I'm heating it up. Just using my heat gun here. I need this to have some movement. I don't want it dripping off. That is not what we're going for. And you don't want to be so close that you burn your epoxy for sure. I just said I'm not going to talk while... While I'm doing this. And then I talked the whole time I was doing it. <sighs> Good grief. I need my head checked. So don't get so close that you're burning it. You don't want to be way down here at all. I'm probably five, six inches above it. I don't want it so hot that it's dripping off. But I definitely want it to do that right there. That movement. That's a good start. So we're going to take this off now. There we go. So we want to give it vertical movement, horizontal. You can kind of see the epoxy slowly sliding around. Keep an eye on where it's going, though, because it will drip off and either take away from the amount of epoxy you have to play with or make a mess. It can go either way. But I like to manipulate it so that I can fill in all the gaps. I'm going to swirl it this way. That's how you get that right there. Up, down, up, down. Uh, Erica, this is cadmium yellow. I use it for pretty much all yellows. I have a Tim Holtz yellow, but I don't really use it. So up and down and up and down. I'm going to give it a little bit more heat. Hi, Katie. Yes, I do, Cindy. I sure do. I like to reverse it, especially when I've got it kind of where I want it to be. And I kind of don't want it to move a lot more after that. I feel like doing that kind of freezes it in place, so to speak, but that's not really an accurate description. That's not, <laughs> it's not technical.
So going up and down like this allows that to kind of spread. And then when you go this way, it allows it, hey, looks like a bird. Uh, it allows it to kind of manipulate, maneuver. I got a lot of brown right there. I'm going to add one drop of brown there and there. I don't feel like it's quite balanced enough. What did I just say? That's got it plenty. I guess it wasn't as unbalanced as I thought. There we go. Okay, I'll let that soak in. Hi, Gina. No, it does not hurt for it to go one way, Katie. It's just a matter of um, allowing the swirls just a little bit different rotation. I mean, it's six of one, half a dozen of another. Um, yes, we are going to add the Maltese cross which is like the fire logo. I'm sorry I'm moving this so much, y'all. That's part of the part of it. Um, the Maltese cross, and then this is for a firefighter, so it's going to have his name on the back. not swirling where I want it to. This is beautiful, but this side's just not doing what I want it to do. It's making me mad. If I'm not careful, that'll just turn into one red blob. Yeah, crystal would be perfect for somebody that works in that field for sure. April, I had to add some brown because that spot just kind of took over. There we go, it's finally breaking up. There we go. Okay. Now it's finally doing what I need it to do. Taking off the turner definitely gives it a whole different dimension. Um, Cindy, I don't typically add white on my fire swirls. I do use a lot of white though. I'm gonna go step over to the air conditioner and let this cool off just a bit. I need it to stop moving. That one section was just moving way too much. So that's that side. I'm happy with that area. I'm not happy with that, and I'm not happy with this. These are the spots that I added after the fact. I'm gonna work on manipulating those just a little bit better, spreading those out. <laughs> April, we all need um, help on our decision making, right? When I was buying a purse, I let my 13-year-old make the decision for me. Sorry, my husband, they're like, well, that one doesn't look like your style, so don't do that one, and you're too big for this one, because I'm not exactly petite, so some of those really tiny backpacks look really funny on me. I need this to kind of go that way. So that's where we're at so far really cool. I love that, where how that ended up. It's not going to look anything like this tomorrow uh, when we wake up. So April, what you think? Do we feel like we need to add any more colors? Let me put it on here so you can actually, whoa, that would have been terrible. Tell me if you think you need to, we need to add any more of anything.
Oh my goodness, turning that air conditioner. Turn that heat the heat gun on. Oof. I like this the most, so I'd like to make sure that that is not um, covered by the Maltese cross or his name. I kind of want to heat that part up. Hi, Gina. She says, no, it doesn't look good, or no, it doesn't need anything else. <laughs> Sorry, I've already forgotten what I asked you, because I need a head check. I'm telling y'all, my brain. Holy cow. Thank you, Cynthia. I love ink swirls. They're so fun. Great. All right, so April said, let's wait and see what it looks like in a few minutes. I hate talking with this mask on, but now that I've heated up this epoxy, I have to leave it on. I want to show y'all something. The other day when I was making these letters for the girls at work, um, I ended up with too much to make, too much to waste and not enough to make another letter. So I actually mixed two colors. It's really pretty. I mixed three sisters custom blend and 308 chunky. I have one of them close to me. This is like a gunmetal holographic and the other one was like a champagne with a hint of green. Okay, great. Great, great, great. It will not look like this by the time we get up in the morning for sure. Uh, but man, that turned out so cool. I would have never put those colors together. For anybody that missed the live the other day, this is April's other cup. Let's get that out of the way so I don't clink those together. This is April's other cup. We're going to put her name right there because all the other spots have really, really cool swirls and cells. Those little spots right there, those are called cells. It's really hard to make those happen on, um, on purpose. I don't even know. It's, it's got like slight little hints of color in it and I did not add that. It's so cool. I don't know where it came from. It, there's a spot right there that has all those little bits of color in it. And I saw another spot just the other day. Maybe it's down here somewhere. Oh, Katie, you're sweet. So sometimes I do not love my swirls, and then other times I just don't want to let go of them. I want to keep them all. Obviously, that's not feasible. So while we're letting that turn, I'll show the people that hopped on late. I'll show you all the new colors I grabbed. I won't go super in depth, especially since I dumped everything in this bucket. Um, I and mean, I don't feel like I have issues with humidity. I'm in North Texas by um, north of Fort Worth. And I don't feel like it's really giving me any fits. All right, so I'm going to bounce through these pretty quick while we let that do its thing. So this is Merica 0.15. It's actually red, white, and blue. The bottle, most of the red and white kind of sticks to it. A little bit bigger cut. Texas Sunrise Chunky. I just, if you watch the last glitter video, I'm pretty sure that's when I got the fine of this one. It's so pretty. It doesn't have a greenish shift. Like, You Are My Sunshine has kind of a greenish, greenish shift to it. Uh, Patty, I have not tried an epoxy dryer. I actually don't feel like I'm going to need one because that... KS Resin Fast Set is bomb.com. It's so amazing. I, Chris and I actually posted the link straight to these in the description. I actually thought ahead of time this time. This one's frozen. It's a really pretty blue. It's so pretty. Knocking stuff off here. I think I started off with the quarter sized. And then I upgraded to the um, gold dollar size, like the Sacagawea size. This one is Deadpool. 
Um, Patty, I just started using that um, liquidy split like Tuesday or Wednesday. You can use it for all layers. It's safe to use for all layers, it says on their website. This is Deadpool. This is the fine of um, Santa's coat, pretty much. Katie, these glitters all came from Fran's Glitter and More.com. There's a coupon in the description for $5 off if you're new to that site. I don't just buy from her, but I definitely have over 200 of her colors and only about 20 from other people, if that tells you anything. She's amazing. Crystal, I have had Deadpool in and out of my cart for like a year. You will not be disappointed. It is beautiful. It's like a deep red. It almost has like a depth to it. This one is Marie. It's like a fine pink with little bits of holographic hex cut in there. It's really pretty and bright. If I could stop knocking stuff off the counter with my elbows, I'd be in good shape. Uh, not burgundy. Crimson is accurate. Crimson sounds like a good name uh, for sure. Just for comparison, we did this the other day with uh, the new subbox color called Stripes. It's deeper. But not quite. This is almost like a holographic burgundy. This, to me, has a very wine vibe to it. That one was called Pocahontas. Maroon is a little too dark. Maroon, I, I don't feel like maroon is a good word for this one. I'd say crimson's probably pretty spot on. This one is one of my favorites. It's called Colors of the Wind. It's really similar to another one that I have. My nose is itching so bad with this dang thing on my face. It's, um, I'm almost certain, like I said earlier, but those that weren't watching yet, I'm almost certain that this is, no, not that one. This is, um, Rainbow Bright from Love All Bling compared to this one. It's very similar, but it is, it is different. I'm pretty certain. I may have that wrong. Yeah, it's really pretty. I like it. It's more pastel -y versus the one uh, Kristen is called is uh, more bright colors, I feel like. I'll put these up as I go. Okay. This one was a shocker to me. I've had this one in my cart off and on. I didn't know why it was called Homecoming Night. Y'all, it has Texas in there. It's so funny. Um, I would say most of these will look different on a different colored base. It definitely makes a difference. Um, so the other day I did a video with that holiday 2020 on it and thought, oh, I wish I would have done this on a black base. It actually looked pretty similar. Uh, this is a coin capsule uh, crystal. I love it. It's so convenient. You can just literally make a little bit of every color. And have a box. That's my first box here. Oh, hold on. Okay, I missed April's comment. Let's see. There's a spot that may need some brown. Is it right there? Or right there, maybe? Thank you for pointing that out, sugar, uh, sugar girl. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, man, I am not cut out to wear this thing and talk a lot. <laughs> hey, girl, I'm thinking that the spot you're talking about is right there. So if it is, let me know. Okay, great. I'm going to do one little drop and then I'm going to have to heat it up to get it to move like it needs to. Otherwise, it will just sit there and kind of get all weird. 
Okay, I'm going to try and remember that Sweet Irish Rose is also April. I'm going to write it on my paper here. I have a, a list of my cheats here. All right, so we're going to let that spin for, or swirl for just a second. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> yeah, so this is my uh, little cheat here. I'm going to need a second post-it here pretty soon. Well, April, I'm glad you caught this one. We are making other April's cup right now. All right, so we are going to heat that just a little bit now. I'm not going to talk. It's not helpful. Um, so, new April, this is Breer Reese colors, all four colors. <clears throat> I actually posted the links to what I found on Amazon in the comment, I mean, in the description. Um, you can get singles at Hobby Lobby, or you can get, oh, that's kind of cool looking. I'm not going to leave it, but it looks cool. Um, you can get sets on the Amazon and at Michael's. Kind of cool. It's like a slow motion avalanche. I feel like it spread too much. So I'm trying to run it back in. This is why you can't use the fast set for this. It's just not going to cut it. If y'all don't mind giving a thumbs up on my videos, if you like them, I'd appreciate it. In the last live, I said, I'm not sure what the thumbs down is for. And somebody actually commented that they think that it's, um, like, if somebody gets a suggestion video, it's a way for them to say, nope, this isn't what I'm into. I don't know, maybe. But I would appreciate it. It helps. Helps me get an idea of what's good and what's not good. Of course, there's always going to be videos that just aren't somebody's cup of tea, and that's okay. That blows my mind that y'all listen to me talk. I talk all day long at work. It's kind of funny to come home and talk for another hour. <laughs> kind of funny. Especially with my twang that I have worked really hard on not having so bad. <laughs> Netta, you're so sweet. <laughs> you try not to talk at work. I don't have a choice. I, I, um, I don't know. I have to talk to patients all day. And Ellen, that's good to know. Maybe you're the one that told me that that's what that was. I feel like it, I feel like that's good. No, it wasn't you. Okay. I don't remember who it was, but I was like, okay, that makes sense. 
So this is the, I'm going to go ahead and bounce through the last four colors real quick while that swirls a little bit. So Willy Wonka, if anybody owns Cora or Merida, this reminds me of that. It's sparkly, but kind of not quite a color shift. It definitely has its darker, um, darker tones. I feel like it catches the light kind of differently. Yeah, because so I, I saw somewhere where somebody said that the new Willy Wonka is different than the old one. Does the supplier change something or something? Still really pretty, though. This one is a little bit of a sleeper here. In the bottle, it doesn't look like a lot going on. Just a little blue, a little aqua, a little purple. It definitely feels like it really jumps out under a proxy. Kind of like if anybody has Fetch, Fetch is that kind of pink to purple. And that one to me is almost like a glow in the light kind of color. That's what that Poseidon's Adventure reminds me of. And yeah, New April, I have a glitter problem too. I mean, join the club. <laughs> we should get jackets. <laughs> it's really funny. I definitely have a problem as well. So this one is Blue Jean Baby. This is another one of those not to judge by the bottle. Because it is so pretty. It's like a teal aqua silver mix. So pretty. Yeah, Rapunzel is great too. <clears throat> I do like Rapunzel a lot. This is probably my favorite one out of all the colors I bought this weekend. Yeah, for anyone that just joined uh, in the last few minutes, I actually met Fran on Saturday. I was in the area and asked if I could come stop and shop. And so I did. And it was so great got, finally meeting the person that takes all my extra money. <clears throat> it's kind of nice. <laughs> so Nanny's baby is lavender-ish. I don't think it shows the full tones on screen like I wish it would. But, um, it's just so sweet. And I had a bunch of these colors that I had kind of been on the fence of buying. Seeing them in person really made the difference for me. And then just because I love it so much, this is Heavenly Chunky. It's so gorgeous. I see a lot of that in my future. Um, for the letters that I made everybody, that one was the one I made from my desk. <clears throat> so gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, April, I like it too. I feel like that spot that we added is breaking up nicely. Right there. I feel like that's looking pretty good. And um, Diane, it can be from a lot of things. It could be that you had... A bad temperature, it could be that you had oils on your skin and you handled your cut. It could be, it could be a couple different reasons. I do know that if I have, yeah, humidity does help uh, make a problem there. I haven't had that yet, but I know it's a real problem for plenty of people. Oh, no. April, I'm actually pretty much done. I'll post a picture of this as the thumbnail in a little bit. That's really it. And then, yeah. That's it, April. Original April. Good night, oh, new April. <laughs> so that's really all that we have going for tonight. I wanted to show y'all all my new glitters because I was so stoked for them. Oh my gosh, I hate this thing. <laughs> My face is so hot. But I'd rather not have an epoxy reaction and have to stop doing this for a while. So, does anyone have any questions about anything that they can think of? I'm going to set this timer for a few hours and just kind of let it do its thing. But I don't really think I've got anything else to show y'all. Uh, yeah, I actually have like a ceramic heater. 
Thank you, Diane. Um, Ellen, I have a, like a freestanding room air conditioner right now. It's a piece of junk. If this is too big of a space and too hot of a space. I really need to move it into our bedroom. But I can't really afford the $600 right now that I would need to buy the really nice ones um, that kind of mount in the wall. I'll get there someday, but it'll be a while. Um, but I have a little ceramic heater that I used to. I really only care about the space immediate to me. I don't care about the whole thing. But I plan on doing um, insulation up in the rafters. I think that's going to make a huge difference. We put kind of a barrier up there, but it's not really doing enough. But we just need to add that step to it. Good night, Cindy. Thank you for your sweetness. I appreciate it. Good night, Diane. I don't think I said that yet. So if anybody doesn't, uh, if anyone else doesn't have any questions, I will bounce off of here. <laughs> well, Lisa, I would have walked out a lot broker than I did if I didn't already have almost every color in there. My mom would say, what about this one? I'd say, oh, that's such and such. I already have that one. <laughs> Good night, Maria. Good night, Kristen. Good night, Crystal. Oh, you're so welcome, Gina. Thank you for your sweetness. I appreciate it. Good night, Joyce. I feel like an episode of The Waltons. Is that the right show? <laughs> Not Ma. Not Pa. <laughs> Ellen, you are so welcome. I enjoy doing it so much. I really do. I actually told my husband, I'm going to tell you good night because I'll probably be live when you go to bed because he goes to get up at like 4 a.m. And he came out here and I wasn't live yet. I was trying to do my little glitter samples. And he was like, um, what are you doing? You're supposed to be live right now. <laughs> he knows I like doing them a lot. I'm going to do another mold uh, here pretty soon, too, with a different technique. I gave my domino mold set, my domino mold. <laughs> Good night, John Boy. Yeah, you're right. I forgot that one. Walton's is a little before my time. But uh, I know a little bit of that culture from Nick at Night, but... That one's just a little before my time. Um, I'm going to make another domino mold tutorial, but I'm going to do it a little bit differently this time. And then I'll record that too. April, you're right. That's what's so great about taking it off and doing that and then that and then that is it gives that up and down movement. Otherwise, it would literally just be horizontal swirls and that's it. But see how I said the yellow would really be overrun? That's mostly orange on there. That spot is just a spot, hopefully. Uh, hold on. You're talking about that one right there? I can fix it. Another thing, too, is if any of these spots don't turn out exactly like we want, I, am, I can put the, the decals right there. It kind of camouflages it. But, April, let me know if that's the spot that you're talking about uh, right there. I can make that not a spot. Okay, great. I'm going to take it off and give it some vertical as well. Anybody still watching? We're not really going to do anything mind-blowing. We're just manipulating now. Oh, 
Edward, you know what? I actually forgot to recap anyways, so give me just a second and I'll actually show you. Oh, April, you're so sweet. All right, how's that looking, April? Let me put this back on here. I think that's going to look really great by morning. Jessica, I don't think I saw you on here earlier. Maybe I did. And Cindy, I totally didn't respond to your comment. I'm glad that you like being called by name. Hopefully it doesn't sound like the teacher calling you out in class. <laughs> you didn't finish the paperwork. I'm just kidding. Um, so I read a comment, I guess yesterday. It was a super old comment that I had missed. It was so sweet. Somebody said that she turns me on in the background. And it's like she's listening to an old friend talk. I'm like, that's the sweetest thing ever. She must have a real country friend. <laughs> but here is what we are working on, working with. This is all Bria Reese brands. And I've got links. Um, I've got links to uh, most of these. Actually, all four of them. But you can get these individually at Hobby Lobby for like four bucks. Um, or you can get a set for of three for ten and use a coupon or I posted the Amazon links for the sets I could find. The cadmium, this kind of gets taken over. You can only see little spurts. Most of what you see on here is actually the orange. But there's that one. There's a lot of cadmium red on here. And orange. So the only thing I don't like from this brand, I'm not in love with the white. But I used it the other day because I wanted it to absorb into the color, and it was perfect for that. If you want it to stand out, don't do that. But I used the Bria Reese White for this one, and it soaked in really nicely, and that's what I was actually going for. This is April's other cup for anybody that just joined us. Uh, they definitely drip big drips and they bounce off but I love all the colors they're pretty vibrant all right y'all that is everything I have for y'all April's that looking pretty good for you so far I'm digging it I'm glad we broke that up because it definitely needed it Once again, anybody that's new and wants a good place to post all those questions that you're afraid to ask in those big groups of thousands of experienced people. Okay, great. Thank you, April, for answering. If you want to be in a smaller group, it's small right now. We only have like 300 and something of us so far. If you want a place that you can ask all those dumb newbie questions, get advice, all that good stuff, go join our group. We've had a few people that were interested in starting a group. So I did. It's called Newbie Tumblr Tutorials and Support. I have tried to get a direct link off of Facebook so I could put it in my descriptions and I can't figure out how to do it. Since it's not a page, I can't figure out how to do it. You can join it. There's only two rules. Be kind. Be nice, be nice, be nice. I don't tolerate bullies. If I see anybody bullying, I'm going to block them. It's not, yeah, it's on Facebook for sure. I'll approve anybody that requests as soon as I'm done uploading this. Um, I don't tolerate bullying. Had to deal with it as a kid, not dealing with it as an adult. And we just don't need that in today's society. And second rule is if you share something, please be prepared to share how you did it. It's a learning group. It's a great place to show off your new stuff, your new techniques. But you got to tell how you did it because that's what we're all there for. We all start somewhere and we all learn somehow. Those are the only two rules. So that's it. All right, April said she is happy. <laughs> Got a thumbs up on her cut. I'm ready to take this mask off because I'm dying. Newbie, Tumblr, tutorials, and support. Now that I don't have that mask on, I could say it, but I can't breathe in these fumes for very long or I'll get sick. <laughs> Newbie, N-E-W-B-I-E, Tumblr, tutorials and support. 
um, you'll see the uh, banner is it just says the purple stitch I need to do a banner contest if anybody has any cool ideas for a banner contest let me know because we need something really cool oh you're so sweet and um, critters crafts what's your name I'm gonna write it down on my fresh post-it here so I don't call you critters crafts because I'm positive your mom did not name you that I try and remember but I have a note. Okay, Krista, I can deal with that. <laughs> You're the first one on my fresh post-it of people's actual names. So I can try and actually say your name and not your page. So that's it. You guys have a great night. Stay safe. I don't think I'll be going live for a while. I don't really have anything that's live worthy. Adding decals to this. Oh, critter bug, that's cute. Oh, yeah, that's a great anniversary gift, April. So, all I have going on right now is decals on here, which I need to finish that in the next two weeks, less than two weeks. I've got tiger stripes going on here. That's going to be that thing that says whacked them. You know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to say it out loud because. I don't know what the copyright stuff is on that. We have this one that was one of my ready to ships. We're gonna add her name to it right here in a cute little script font. And adding April's name to this and decals to that. That's all I have going right this minute. And that's it. All right, you guys have a great night. Thank you so much for hanging around and I hope you learned something. If nothing else, I at least hope you laughed at something. <laughs> kind of interesting sometimes. All right. Y'all have a good one. I'm going to bounce off of here. Go join the group if you want a safe place to ask all the, the new questions. Newbie, Tumblr, tutorials, and support. And just, you don't have to say, like, I learned about YouTube, blah, blah, blah. You can just say video. I don't know what you're talking about. Cynthia, you're so sweet. You are so sweet. I love it. All right, I really do have to get out of here because I'm breathing in these fumes. <laughs> not smart. And that's really not what's wrong with me. I come by all this um, ding donginess naturally. All right, guys. Y'all stay safe. We'll see you next time. <laughs>